Hello there fellow collectors, welcome back for another figure review. Today I'm going to be reviewing Cobb Vanth, a figure I've been very excited to get. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel on your way in, and ring that notification bell so that you do not miss any future content coming from me. Also, please consider becoming a channel member and joining the Evil Empire where you get access to exclusive perks, members only giveaways, and also members only shoutouts at the end of each of my videos. With all that being said, let's take a look at Cobb Vanth. So here he is out of the box for first impressions, and I think he looks really good. I think this representation with the armor on is actually spot on with how he appears in the show. Is this a look that I am going to display him as? No, but it is really nice with this figure that you get two options with the armor on, or obviously you can take it off. You can display it with the arm around with the head sculpt as well, which is a really nice option. So at first look here, I am impressed. Now let's take a look at the accessories. I am happy with the accessories you get here. First off, I am very happy with this base. This thing is awesome. It has a lot of really good detail. Also, this top piece is modular, so you can slide it forward and back. This just really matches that Western style feel of the show. So really happy they included this rather than a generic base. And then we have a rifle and a pistol blaster here. Always nice when we get more than one weapon to display. It allows you to have some variation when you're posing a figure to utilize different weapons. So that's nice. They've got some nice weathering on them. And then we get to the head sculpt. So for me personally, the one weird thing about it is the teeth. It just doesn't look right for some reason for me. But as far as the likeness goes, I think it does look like Timothy Oliphant. And this is a representation of the figure that I want in my collection. I want the actor portrayed on the figure rather than having the Boba Fett helmet. And I think it passes for me as far as likeness goes and having this on the display. I am happy with it. I think at different angles and different lighting, it looks better. But overall, something that I am going to be displaying. And then we have the jetpack. If you want to display it like that, it has really good detail in it. You have a couple different display options for it, which is nice. And then you have this bottle of Spotchka, which I really like as an accessory, and I am going to be using that as part of my display. And then you have the multiple sets of hands, which are always included. So that wraps it for accessories. Overall, really happy with the ability to display this in multiple various ways, and I'm pleased with the accessories. And here he is in a simple pose with all the armor on, holding the rifle. So if this is a look that you like, Again, I think it captures it really well. If you don't want to use the head sculpt and you want kind of this action style look for him, which also was actually a really cool look for the show, I think this looks great. And I think it, again, looks awesome with this base. This is a simple pose. This figure poses really well if you want to get dynamic with it. You can pretty much do whatever you want. So, yeah, something that looks cool if you are interested in doing it this way. And then here is just a close up of some of the details when he's wearing the armor. Again, I think they did a really nice job with all of the intricate details and weathering on the clothing and the armor. It looks really good if this is the option that you want to utilize in your display. And here we have him displayed without the armor on. Taking the armor off is a pretty simple process. Since I saw this figure announced, I knew this was going to be the way that I was going to be displaying it. I really like this look with the armor off, with the red shirt. Just this look for him really, I feel like is the best one for the character. And again, not only does the figure look great, but also with this base, it just really brings this whole representation of the character together for me. I'm really happy with how this looks displayed without the armor on. And here's another close up look. Again, just look at the awesome detail in the base and then look at all of this weathering in the clothing, in the boots. I just think they did a really nice job with the pants. They have all of these like ridges and wearing on them. The belt is awesome. I feel like maybe the red bandana could have been a little bit better, but I'm okay with it. And again, with the head sculpt, I'm fine with this. I think it looks good enough for me. The teeth, again, just are a little bit weird, but on some angles and lighting, you can't really see them, so you get a better portrayal. And then here is a side view here. He has all of these different accessories and things attached to his clothing. You have like this rugged look with all of the, these different patches and wearing patterns all over them. And then again, I really like the texture of this red shirt, how this looks. I feel like it looks realistic. 
And then as far as his hair goes, I feel like maybe they could have added a little bit more gray into his hair, but I do feel like it's sculpted well. One other nice thing about these boots is that there's a separate attachment point at the ankle so you can articulate them well. And then again, look at these pockets on the back of the jeans. I feel like they just did an excellent job with the weathering on here, making this look like this Western feel and not just making them some simple pants design. And then we got this pleather holster, which is fine for me. I think it looks good. The pistol fits into it nicely. It doesn't feel like it's getting really stretched out like some of these other holsters Hot Toys has done. And here is one last side profile here. Again, showing the cool detail in the base, the holster here. I think it looks really nice having this pistol in the holster and having this relaxed look for the character. Like I said, this was the pose that I planned on doing all along. Overall, really happy with how this one turned out. And here he is displayed next to Mando and Grogu on the swoop bike. I feel like, again, this base really brings everything together. The way that the clothing is on this character, it really captures the feel of the Mandalorian that Western vibe. It's really nice to have this figure to start rounding out my Mandalorian shelf. And now here he is displayed next to Cad Bane. They are going side by side in the collection. And this actually is making me want to get the sand base out, even though it's generic for Cad Bane. I'm probably going to get it back out so it fits the look of this other base. But yeah, this is exactly the look that I want in my collection. I want Cobb Vanth right next to Cad Bane. I think this looks awesome. Again, captures that Western feel. Just something that's really cool, a great look for the display. So this is exactly how I'm going to have it in the case. So overall, I'm really happy with how this figure turned out. I feel like some people are passing on this one because of the head sculpt, and it's really too bad because it is really an excellent figure. You have the ability to display him either with the armor on, you can do an action style pose with him, or you can have this more relaxed look I think that's a really nice option to have the ability to display in two different ways. But yeah, overall, I really love this look without the armor on, with the head sculpt displayed, and capturing Timothy Oliphant as the marshal in the show. With that being said, I want to know your thoughts. Leave a comment down below with what you think about this figure. Is this one you're passing on? Are you picking up? And while you're down there, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell. And last but not least, I want to give a shout out to Underground Figures, which is where I got this Cobb Vanth figure from. You can check them out by going to undergroundfigures.net. If you make an account on their website, you are eligible for no NRD pre-orders. They have great prices and double box all shipments free of charge. Check out the description of this video below for more details. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, collect carefully.